All right, who's ready to make this garlic parmesan crusted chicken kebab with us? Look how amazing these come out. They taste phenomenal. Uh, you can serve them as a snack or a appetizer. Either way, they're phenomenal. Here we go. Start with large chicken breasts and we're gonna slice them and cube them up. Try to be as consistent as possible. If you have little pieces, just kind of get rid of them. And when I say get rid of them, use them for a stir fry or use them for something else. It's about the size you want. Get them all in there. Now we're gonna add our Duke's mayo as a binder for it. Also add the bowl. I'm just kidding, I did that on accident. Um, give it a good mix. Kind of get it all incorporated. And now we are gonna hit it with our Estes Avenue. Estes Avenue makes everything better. Parmesan. Ooh. There's going to be a lot of Parmesan in this recipe, guys. Get it all mixed and combined. Once you're satisfied with how it looks, it is going to be time to get them on some skewers. Now, we have skewers over on the side that have been soaking in water. Boom, here we go. Take your skewer, start poking it through your meat. And you can build them whatever size you wanna do them. Uh, it's really up to you, depending on the cooker you're using or how you wanna do them. We are cooking on a Minimax Big Green Egg today. You can also make these in the oven and the air fryer. That's what they should look like. Nicely seasoned, nice texture. Parmesan hanging out there. We're cooking over Jealous Devil charcoal today, guys. Because you know what they say, if it ain't Jealous Devil, it's just not hot enough. And if you ain't cooking with fire and smoke... You just ain't smoking it right. Now we're cooking at about 325 to 350 direct. So you're going to want to be careful just because you don't want to burn anything too quickly. Ooh, look at those babies go. That's what they should look like when you first get them on. Now we're going to make kind of a glaze, more of a, not really a glaze, I guess it's more of a butter, com a compound butter for it. We're going to mince up our garlic. I want bigger pieces of garlic. I don't want super fine minced, so I'm kind of keeping that in mind while I'm doing my knife work. Hit it with our classic seasoning. Everything's better with classic, guys. Add more Parmesan. You add as much as you'd like. Add a little bit of greens. This is the salad part of this. Get that nice finely chopped. And now we're gonna beat that all together.
And once you're done, it should look something like that. Ooh, that's going to be good going on that chicken. Now we're going to sit there and we're going to brush her on. Now this may cause a little bit of smoke as the butter hits the direct coals, but it'll be okay. If you're cooking on a big green egg, I recommend closing the bottom grate. That way you don't get too many flare ups or too much crazy heat coming out. But as you butter, keep going. Once you're done, it should look something like that. Little charred pieces for crunch. Ooh, this is going to be good, guys. Remember, like, follow, subscribe. See you guys next time.